guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited to be doing this favorites video because I feel like I haven't done one in a while and I don't know why because they're my personal favorite videos to watch and I just love getting new product recommendations and seeing things that I might not have thought to pick up on my own but I always pull the notes up on my phone when I'm watching someone else's favorites video and I'll type down like whatever products I see that I might want to pick up next time I'm out or get a sample of and each product also will have like a mini review with it like I'll tell you why I love it and stuff so I feel like you'll kind of figure out if it's gonna work for your type of skin or you know depending on whatever the product is but I'm actually sitting in my living room right now or dining room or actually right now I'm sitting in my kitchen but you can see my living and dining room behind me little Teddy is actually if you see that speck on the sofa that is Teddy Bear are you gonna move Okay, there you go. Um, and then Mochi brought a big stick in from outside and he's sitting on his bed chewing on it. So that is what the boys are doing. I'm so excited for my filming room to be done and set up where I can just walk in there and film whenever I, do, I want. I don't have to like carry a camera and lights downstairs and like do it in my kitchen, um, which this is fine, but I'm just excited to have the room that is going to be my beauty room. It's gonna have my vanity and my filming setup and everything. I'm just so ready for that to be done. Shara is sending me the design concept and budget and all that sort of stuff this week and then we get to order everything and put it in the room and I am just like so so ready for that. I thought I would give you a little update on my beauty room. So a lot of these are going to be beauty products and then I also have some other little things that I want to talk about but I'm going to start off with skincare because I got a few new things that I've been using this month and I've been using this one for a while now and you will see how little I've actually used. It is crazy. I don't know why they put it in a bottle this big because I feel like this is actually going to last the rest of my life. So this right here, is it going to focus? There we go. Fresh sea Berry Skin Nutrition Cleansing Oil. This removes makeup and softens your skin. So what you do is just take a couple pumps at night, rub it between your fingers, and then on dry skin, you go ahead and rub it all over your face, your eyes, it takes off all your eye makeup. I wouldn't recommend this if you use eyelash extensions though, because it is oil-based. But if you don't, then it takes off all your eye makeup. You just rub it everywhere. Then you mix a little bit of warm water in your hands and kind of splash a little bit of warm water on your face and it emulsifies is that the right word I hope so I think it like emulsifies it turns into a little bit of like a milk cleanser and then you cleanse your skin with that wash it off and then I go ahead and wash my skin with a face wash so I do double cleansing the first step is to remove the makeup second step is to actually cleanse my skin and I'm really liking this. I was using the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I wasn't crazy about the formulation. I felt like it kind of, it cleansed all my makeup off, but I also feel like it maybe settled into my pores a little bit, like the oil kind of stayed a little bit in my pores and I didn't love that. When I rinse this off, I feel like it all comes off and it just leaves my skin feeling really soft. I don't have any sort of like oily residue though, so, I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a new makeup remover. It works really well. The eye stuff I've been using lately, I'll show you later, is actually waterproof and it's a 24 hour wear and this gets it off no problem. So I really like that. The next thing is my new face cleanser that I've been using. So I use this to take the makeup off and then this to cleanse my skin. This is the First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Acne Clearing Charcoal Cleanser. It has 2% salicylic acid. The face wash that my dermatologist put me on also had 2% salicylic acid and he said that I could switch if I wanted to if I got another one that had the 2% acid. So I found this one and I thought that would be really fun to try. I just, I'm one of those people that it's probably one of the reasons that I break out a lot is because I switch up my products so much, but I just enjoy it. I like having a new like nighttime skin routine. It makes me excited to do it every night. And so I told him that and he was like, the cleanser is like the easiest one to switch out. So if you want to, go for it. So that is why I've been using this and I really love this. This is a charcoal cleanser so it kind of like pulls everything out of your pores and it might actually be this that is making this wash off so well. I haven't tried this with the Clinique. I feel like there still might be a little bit of that like balmy film on my face afterwards but I could test it out and see what I think about it. Um, but it is 
just really good. I feel like it freshens my face more than like a charcoal mask even can. I don't know what it is about it, but this stuff is really good. I have one more skincare product that I've been loving, and I think the reason I have so many skincare updates in this video and like so many new products I've been trying out is because this is the first month that my dermatologist has given me the go ahead to add a few more products into my routine that are not the ones that he prescribed to me, and I could switch out my skin cleanser. So I got the go ahead from him this month and that's why I was like, okay, new skin stuff. I was so excited. Okay, so this is the Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Power Serum. Now, my dermatologist had not prescribed a serum to me, but he told me if I had one that I liked that I was using, I could continue using it. I didn't have one that I liked. I've never ever in my life found a serum that does not break me out until I tried this one. And my skin's been pretty good lately, so I think that is why I was like, okay, I can I can test this out. I'm not in like a huge flare up right now. So I decided to give it a shot and I kept waiting to like wake up with acne or like new acne and I didn't. And I was like, okay, this is good. So this is a really great serum. It is anti-aging, which I turned 25 this month. I know that's not super old, but I feel like preventative measures can start, you know, like taking place. The consistency of this feels really, really good putting it on my skin. So I put this on morning and night after I use my toner pads from the dermatologist. So I have just really been loving this. So the next thing I have is also kind of for skin, but it's for bronzing because I am a very pale human. So the first one is the 24 hour instant bronzer by Saint Tropez. It's the one night only. So they have two shades of this light and medium or light and dark. I got the light one because I don't want it to be like, whoo, let's try this again. I got the light one because I didn't want it to be super intense. And this one gives me just enough glow. If you do have way lighter skin and you go for a really dark self tanner, it's easier to kind of see the streaks and blend it into your hands and stuff like that. So that is why I decided to go with the light one. Now this has been my favorite thing to use when I haven't self tanned, but I wanna give either like my arms or my legs, depending on what I'm wearing that day, or even just like my chest, a nice glow and just kind of like deepen up my skin just a little bit. I've been using this for any sort of event I go to. Typically I would get spray tanned. Honestly, I think I've just been lazy lately and this does not seem as daunting as like exfoliating your entire body and then spray tanning and having to sleep in it and then wash it off the next day. This is something that after I decide what I'm gonna wear, I can put it on the parts of my body that are going to be showing in that outfit and then it rinses off in the shower so it's not like I'll have tan arms for a week with like the rest of my body still being pale. So I really like this and it also gives a little bit of coverage on my scar that I have on the back of my arm. I feel like it just kind of fades it a little bit more into my skin. I feel like it's not as noticeable and I also have um, the little bumps on my arms. There's a correct name for it, but I can't think of it right now. But a lot of people have it like on their upper arms, some people have it on their legs, and they're just kind of like the little red raised bumps that are on my arms. And I feel like this just kind of like blends everything in. It gives a little bit of an airbrushed effect. So loving this. And then over top of it, I put on the Instant Shine Effect Finishing Gloss. I've only actually used this one a couple times. This one is pretty much now like almost a daily thing for me when I decide what outfit I'm gonna wear. I'll put this on if I'm going anywhere. If I'm just staying home, I obviously won't. But this is for like fun events. When I went to the I Feel Pretty premiere this month, I put this on and it just like gives you an additional pop and just like a little bit of sparkle kind of. I don't know, I really like it. I feel like a vampire. So those are all of my skin products. I know that was a lot, um, but that is what I'm loving this month. I also started trying out a new foundation that I am absolutely obsessed with. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer, and I have the lightest shade that it comes in. It is 0.5 Breeze. It is very fair with pink undertones, and it comes with the doe foot applicator that I really like because you can just like swipe it on. I don't know, I feel like I prefer this sort of applicator than any other one I've ever used before. I blend it in with a brush and then I just go over it with a beauty sponge to blend out like any lines or streaks that the edge of the brush might have made. But this gives me a really great coverage. I have skin that's more on the oily side, it's combination, but 
but I've started like producing a little more oil lately. When I first started my new skincare routine, my skin was so dry, but now it's like starting to get back to the way it typically is. But this I feel like would probably not be the best foundation for you if you have really oily skin. If your skin is not combo, if it's just straight up oily, I don't know how this would work. They say it works for oily skin, but personally the areas of my skin that get oily throughout the day and I set it with powder and everything, definitely break up this foundation a little quicker than some other ones that I've used. That being said, I love the coverage. I love the formulation. The color works really well for me. Sometimes it's hard for me to find a color that is light enough for my skin tone, but this one works really well. The undertones are absolutely perfect. Like I feel like I will be using this for a really long time. I'm just kind of trying to figure out maybe a different setting powder just for my nose and like the center of my forehead because throughout the day I do feel like it's moving. But for when that happens, there's this new product from Hourglass. This is the Veil. It is in Fair. That is literally all it says. Oh, Veil Retouching Fluid. So you know when you put on any sort of liquid makeup and then you set it with powder, they say you're not supposed to go over and use liquid on top of it again. It's gonna get cakey, it's gonna break up the layer that was underneath and it's just not gonna settle right into your skin. Well, Hourglass made this product to fix that for all of us. So you can put this on top of powder when you wanna like retouch your face. And I don't know what it does, but it just activates everything together and like gives you a perfect canvas. It can also be used if you just want a little bit of coverage throughout the day. There have been days where I've just put a little bit of this like under my eyes and the corners of my nose and blended it out with my finger. The color match is really good on this. And then I feel like I have a little bit of coverage on my face, but I'm not wearing a full face of makeup. So I have really been liking this, but if anyone is into touching up their makeup throughout the day and foundation is something that is not the easiest thing to touch up once you've powdered your face, you are are going to freaking love this. I've used this every single day since I got it that I've been wearing makeup because there have been a few days in there, you know, where I just didn't put any on. But every day that I've been wearing makeup since I got this, I've been using it, loving it. So what I do is it also has a doe foot applicator. I just take a little bit of this, I'll put it on my nose, I'll blend it out with my finger. If I need a little more coverage, I can go in with concealer or even some more of my foundation, depends on if I'm on the go. Um, I don't typically carry my foundation with me, but if I'm at home, I might touch it up with a little more of that, blend it out, and then I'll set it with powder again, and I'm good for the rest of the evening. So that's really fun for me. I am someone that tends to redo my makeup in the middle of the day or before I go out at night if I've been wearing my makeup all day, I'll take off just the face makeup. I'll leave like my brows and eyes and everything and go back over and do a fresh layer of foundation, concealer, and powder just because I feel like it doesn't look good when you try to retouch it until I got this. This has been saving me so much time and I am just like, I'm obsessed with this. So that is the next thing. Now for more face, the Ish Beauty, which stands for I'm Smoking Hot, which I think is really cute. Contour kit, this is the light medium one, but this has two different bronzing powders. One's more of like a contour and one's just kind of like more of a subtle bronze. It has a blush and a highlighter. So I use all four of these products every single day and it's super quick. I use the same brush for these two and I just go in first with the darker color, blend it out a little bit with the lighter bronzer. That is how I've been contouring. I have all of these on my cheeks right now. Then I do the blush on like the apples of my cheeks, blend it back and I'll do the highlighter letter right on the top of my cheekbone, top of my cupid's bow, center of my chin, just a super tiny bit, and center of my nose. This is not sponsored, but they did give me a code if I mentioned any of the products in a video and I wanted to share it with you guys. It's 20% off. You can just use Blair 20. I don't get anything from that. I don't get a commission. They're not paying me. Like this is just completely, I'm telling you because they gave me the coupon code. And if there are any products there that you want to try out, 20% off is kind of cool. The next product is what I've been wearing on my eyes every day lately. This is the Trish McAvoy 24 hour eyeshadow and liner in the color Topaz. So this is like one of those little cream shadow sticks and I put this all over my lid and then I've just been taking my finger and blending out the edge. You need to do one eye at a time because you have about 30 seconds to play with it before it sets. 
and then it is 24 hours, will not smudge. You can go swimming in the ocean and this is going to stay exactly how you put it on. That's why I say do one eye at a time because you have a very short time frame before it dries down. But I just apply it straight from the pin onto the lid of my eye and then I just kind of take the, my fingers and blur out the edges. And sometimes I'll put a little bit of the highlight from the Ish Beauty palette under my brow. Sometimes I even skip that step and that's all I've been doing for shadow. On days where I want to do a little more, I'll drag this on my lower lash line and I will blend that out. I haven't really been using lots of eyeliner lately. I also haven't been wearing fake eyelashes that much. I don't know what it is, but I just got into this habit of wearing it every single day. Like it was never a question of, am I gonna wear lashes today? Am I gonna do like a winged liner? It was just a daily thing. That's how I did my makeup. Lately, I've just been wanting to simplify my routine, make it a little bit easier, make it quicker. And so that is why I was searching for a product like that and it's super easy. I just put on a coat of mascara and that is it for my eyes. So my next favorite is more like my entertainment of the month and as summer gets closer, I feel like I read more and more books. There's just something about like summer activities like road trips and sunbathing and hanging out and hiking and stuff. Like I just really enjoy listening to my books. So you guys know I use Audible. They are a sponsor of my channel. They have been for years. Years. I thank them so much for supporting my channel throughout the years like it has been a crazy wild ride and they've always been by my side and you guys seem to really like when I give you some book recommendations like pretty much every time I do I get comments like oh my gosh I got this book I listened to it like this is what I thought and I think that's really fun it's like our own personal little book club so like I said audible is sponsoring this video I want to be like as open about that as possible, but obviously I get to pick whatever book I want to listen to. And I'm actually on my third book for this month. I've just really been enjoying it. The first one I read is called The Bells by Donnell Clayton, I think is how you would say her name. And this is a really good book. If you like that young adult style dystopian world, it's in the future. It's definitely a different time and kind of more about the way the government is running things and it also has a lot to do with beauty. So these girls called the Bells are basically like glorified plastic surgeons, but they do it like with their spirit and their magic. So they are used by the people that are higher up in the kingdom and they are basically, I'm trying not to like give anything away, but this is what the entire book's about. They are basically brought in and they make people beautiful. They, you know, dye their hair, cut it, but everything is just done like with their magic. They're not actually using like hair dye and scissors and they just have this power to make people beautiful. They're actually forced to use their magic. It's very painful for them to harness their magic, but they're forced to use it to give beauty treatments to people that are richer or higher up in the government. And it's kind of the story about that. And I listened to it, I think in two days, like I went through it so quickly and it was so good. The second book I read this month is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I feel like this one is very popular. A lot of people recommended this to me and my sister recommended it as well. She also recommended The Bells. This one's also young adult. It's more in like a fantasy world rather than like a dystopian government type thing. Um, and it has fairies in it, which I think are really, really fun. It's kind of like the new thing. Like I feel like we had vampires and werewolves and now like fairies are coming up and it's kind of like the new thing. I don't know. I've been hearing about it a lot lately. A Court of Thorns and Roses has some more books out in this series, but before I listened to those, I picked up this book that I wanted to listen to. This was recommended to me and I do not know why because it is literally about a pregnant lady named Elle who is brain dead and my sister's name is Elle and she is pregnant. I started listening to it and it was kind of hard at first because obviously my sister's name is Elle and she is pregnant and so it's hard for me to listen to someone that's like brain dead and you know going through that. But at the same time, it was so intriguing and such a fascinating story that I needed to keep listening to it. So this happens in the first chapter of the book and it is in the description of the book. Like I'm not ruining it for anyone or spoiling it. I'm just telling you actually what the book is about. So it is about a lady named Elle who has an accident. She is declared brain dead and right before her family is going to switch off the life support, they find out she's pregnant. Her husband fights to have her body kept on life support so that she can 
grow the baby until it's old enough to be born. So basically be like a human incubator kind of, but like against her will a little bit because she did have a living will that said that she did not want to be kept on life support. She was very stern about that and her mom went through that and she watched her like be on life support for a long time and her dad couldn't pull the plug. And so that was like something that she always said, I don't want that. But it's about figuring out what she would want in this circumstance because she did really want to have kids. But I don't think at this point in the book that she even knew she was pregnant. It's very early. So you don't know what she would have done. Um, the husband's mother is actually fighting him in court over going ahead and pulling the plug, which would in return terminate the pregnancy. So it has kind of like a pro-life versus pro-choice annotation to it. As I'm listening to it, it's interesting to hear both sides, but it's more about what would Elle want if she was alive and could speak. Would she want her body to be kept on life support to give this baby a chance or would she not? And both sides have very interesting cases. I have, I think I'm on chapter 40 something, 42 out of 55. This is the cover, by the way. I think it's like really, really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's cute. Um, and I just have been enjoying this a lot. Like I said, it was kind of hard at the beginning because I was like, it is about a pregnant lady named Elle. Why was this recommended to me? It doesn't go too much into the political side because it's not about abortion. It's not about terminating a pregnancy when the mother is going to live and keep going. It's about terminating a pregnancy when the mother is already passed away. She will not wake up. She has no chance. So it's kind of interesting to hear both sides of the story and just I find it very fascinating. So those are the three books that I recommend. I do have an offer from Audible for you. If you wanna to go to audible.com slash Blair, you can get a free 30 day trial on Audible and download a free book. You can choose any book you want. It doesn't have to be one of the ones I recommended, but obviously I recommend those if you haven't read them because I have really been enjoying them. So it's audible.com slash Blair, or you can text Blair to 500, 500. So audible.com slash Blair. Blair or text Blair to 500, 500 Either of those things, you can redeem your one month free Audible subscription and in return, you get one credit that you can spend on any book that you would like. Yes, that was sponsored. I did not have to go into so much detail on the books, but I just really enjoyed them this month and I wanted to make sure that I told you a little bit about what each book is actually about. So if you wanna read it, you kind of know what you're reading or what you're getting yourself into. So the very last favorite I have to show you guys is actually a piece of clothing. This one's still has the tag on it because I just picked it up because I loved the other ones so much. So this is a dress that I got from Nordstrom by Leith or Life. So you can see the bottom has a really pretty kind of like shape to it and the side has a little bit of ruching. So I feel like this would look good on a lot of different body types. It kind of like pulls you in a little and just makes you look like very, almost like hourglass. It kind of like gives that effect even if your body doesn't naturally hourglass, I think. Um, but I have this in black blush and then I just picked up the gray one because I've been living in these every single day. They're so nice because you can dress it up or dress it down. I wear my black one with sneakers and I also have worn it with heels out to dinner to a nice restaurant. Like I just love that it is so versatile and it's only $56, which for a nice dress like this that isn't gonna like pull apart in the wash and stuff, I feel like it's totally worth it. So this is what I'm gonna be living in this summer. They have so many different colors. Like I said, I have three of them. I'll try to find a link and put it below if you guys wanna check this out from Nordstrom. But it is just like the most most flattering garment I think I've ever put on in my life and I really like that it also just has a high neck so it really goes like no matter where I'm going I don't have to worry about like my boobs being out or something um, I like that it is appropriate no matter what I'm doing and like I said you can dress it up dress it down and it's so comfortable and flattering they wash well so I was like wait I need to talk to them about this dress so that is my favorites video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. If there are any products on here that I gave a recommendation for and you also have it and use it, go ahead and leave what you think about it in the comments below because I know a lot of people, when they see something from one person say it's good, they think like, oh, I might wanna try that. But if they read your comment and see that 
other people are saying that they really enjoy it. I don't know, I just, I feel like it's more feedback. And also, if you know of any products that you think I should try, go ahead and let me know down below. The last thing is I'm obviously obsessed with listening to books right now. I have been for years, but like extra obsessed right now. I've listened to three this month. Go ahead and let me know if there's a book that you recommend down below in the comments. And I would really, really enjoy that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you with my next one. Bye.